it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, I have a makeup tutorial and a little review on the Jack and Hill Default makeup collection with Morphe. And they recently opened up a Morphe store here in San Diego and I was so, so excited. Uh, I went a couple days ago and I was walking around and I saw that they had the actual vault. Um, they didn't have, they did have the actual like eyeshadow separately. Um, but I saw like in the back they saw the actual bolt and I saw it and I was like I have to get it because I've been wanting to try it out. I've heard so many mixed reviews and I just wanted to try it out for myself and see how I liked the eyeshadows. So the bolt comes in this really cool metallic um, packaging and then once you open it, well in the back it has a picture of Jaclyn Hill and kind of like a little bio of like about the shadows. Um, and then when you actually open it... Um, it comes in this like little um, box and then you just pull it up and then your shadows are gonna like come out. Um, I actually tried filming a tutorial with the Armed and Gorgeous palette. Um, it was kind of patchy and I kind of kind of got a little bit frustrated because I was so excited to try it out and that was the first palette that I opened and I started like trying to play with it and I was kind of disappointed because they were like they weren't blending as I would have liked them to be blending. Um, and so like I was just I just took it off and then started from scratch and came up with this look which I actually have a very similar look um, I believe in my channel and so I decided to use the ring the alarm um, palette um, it has four palettes so the first one is the ring the alarm which is kind of like the rosy uh, purplish tones this is what this one right here this is the one that I actually used today and then it has the one that's called Dark Magic, and this is more cool tone, um, and this has the blues and the grays, which I'm obviously like a more a warm kind of girl, warm tone kind of girl, um, but I was definitely excited for this one. I want to give it a try. The colors look beautiful. I am so, so excited for this color right here. It's kind of like emerald, and I'm like really, really excited. Um, I'm not sure how often I'll be using this like cool tone shadow. Um, and then the next one I have here is called the Armed and Gorgeous, which is the one that I first initially started playing with. Um, I I saw this one, and actually this is the one that they didn't have in stock when they at the Morphe store, and they were like sep sold separately. Um, and I was like super excited. And if you look at the colors, they're right up my alley. I love the like color selection in these. Um, and I started like playing with the mattes as my like crease colors and then um, when I got I wanted to put something on my lid um, so I just I didn't like how it looked um, on the lids with like the other shadows that I had used for example I used this one and then I used this one and then I went and used this one right here so with that combination and then trying to use that guilt trip right here um, in the center of my lid I just didn't like how it looked and I just I just took it off um, it was I, it wasn't the goal that I expected um, definitely so that's why I just decided to like go for another look and then the last palette right here is the blind uh, bling boss which is this is the purple one um, it's super purple so pretty um, if you have hazel eyes this these colors are gonna make your eyes pop there was so much drama like so much drama around this um, these shadows and these palettes I guess there was like one batch and like I said they were like having trouble with like the blending and then they came out with um, this bolt which is I think the second batch and um, yeah so what I I've, I've been like researching on it and then I was like uh, watching a couple of videos and they said that the V2 has nothing to do with being either part of the first batch or the second batch but then I saw a video yesterday which I'll link below because it was very like truthful and I was just like oh okay um, and I was like planning to film this video today um, but yeah so it just it ended up um, I ended up really really liking this look right here I didn't have as much trouble with these shadows uh, but I'll definitely like keep playing with them and uh, I'm gonna be uploading more looks with these shadows and hopefully with like a little bit more practice um, I'll, you know, try to work with them. But yeah, I think that was a very long intro and like kind of like a rant with the shadows. It was just that I was really, really excited and a little bit disappointed. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get on with the tutorial. 
Okay, so for my transition color, I'm going to use the color Rush, which is this one right here. And I'm going to take a Sigma E35. And I'm just going to blend this on my crease. I just like using this clean brush uh, as I go just so that I'm cleaning my edges. Next I'm going to go in with the color Alert and I'm going to add that with a Morphe M441. And I'm going to take that and apply it on my crease. As you can see, like they are pigmented. It's just that I don't know why, but I feel like the colors are very, um, like, tend to get patchy. Like, I like how they're blending. It's just that if I, like, do a close-up, like, it's just, I don't know, it's something that looks, like, patchy. Now, I'm going to try to do kind of like a halo eye. I'm going to take now the color Mic Shot, which is this one right here, and I'm going to apply that with a Morphe M433. And I'm going to apply that to my corner, uh, my outer corner, my inner corner, and then um, just doing like a little bridge on my crease. Um, for the middle of my eye, I'm thinking of adding either Lolly or Boom. So this is Boom, it's more like a coppery brown, and then this is Lolly, which is more like on the pink side, Lolly. I think I'm just going to go with Boom and maybe put a little bit of Lolly on top, we'll see. So I'm just going to take, I'm just going to apply this with my finger, and I'm going to um, use this uh, NYX Epic Ink Liner and I'm just going to, it's a pen eyeliner and I'm just going to do a wing. Uh, I'm going to move on to my face and I am going to first um, moisturize a little bit and I'm going to use the Ultra Cream, Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration for Dry Parched Skin by um, First Day Beauty and I really, really, really like um, this moisturizer. It's so, it feels like it's thick but um, once you like blend it on your skin, it feels so nice. I really like how my eyebrows came out today. I've been trying to reshaping, reshape them for the longest. Uh, it just They just like wouldn't like grow. Uh, but now I feel like I have like my like eyebrow shape that I've been wanting. For foundation, I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty foundation and I have it in the color 210. And I'm just going to dot this. For concealer, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Light Neutral. To set my concealer, I'm going to take the original RCMA powder, no color powder, and I'm just going to um, take a beauty blender. And then to set my face, I'm going to take my Fit Me uh, by Maybelline, and this is in the color Fair Light. Okay. 
And then to bring a little bit more um, color to my face, I'm gonna take this True Match Super Blendable Powder and I have it in the color W7. And kind of like a bronzer, I'm just gonna um, use it and bronze up my face a little bit. And then to contour, I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in light. And I'm just gonna take um, this little color right here. to my cheekbones now I'm going to take my blush and for today I am going to choose um, the MAC copper tone blush and I'm just going to take this Lexi um, 516 brush and apply it to my cheeks Sorry if I keep like looking down, it's just my mirrors down here um, and like yeah so I'm just I keep making sure that it's filming and then making sure that I'm applying my makeup correctly. <laughs> to finish off the look I'm going to go ahead and work on my lower lash line. Um, I'm first going to take, let me see, I'm going to take a pencil brush. This is a 230 Soiba brush and I'm going to work alert and mugshot on my lower lash line. I'm just going to combine those two. And now for my inner corners, I'm thinking of doing on camera this color right here and putting it on my inner corner. I feel like it's going to be like a fun pop of color. So um, I'm going to take on camera and I'm going to take a Morphe E18 and apply it on my inner corner. And maybe adding a tiny bit to my eyebrow um, highlight. Now I'm going to take my uh, mascara. And I'm using the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. And applying a little bit just to blend my falsies with my real lashes. I totally forgot to apply highlighter to my cheekbones so I'm going to take this Maybelline um, Master Chrome Face Studio um, Metallic Highlighter in the color Molten Gold which as you can see it's pretty beaten up I love this highlighter it's so pretty and then for lips I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty gloss balm and apply that I'm craving boba. Sounds so good. And that's it for today's look. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have tried the Jacqueline Hill Vault. And uh, so far, which one is your favorite eyeshadow palette from that collection? I really hope you guys enjoyed. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!